What's up everybody, it's Lee Wilson once again and today I'm going to show you how to shoot neon photography. Okay, we'll be shooting this indoors and the things you're going to need is you're going to need a TV or a laptop so you can reflect the image on the screen, a phone or a prism so you can use the reflection technique. You're also going to need a camera that can shoot good in the dark along with a lens. I'm going to be using the 50mm 1.8 with a Sony camera because they shoot real good in the dark and allows for less grain in post. Also, you're going to need a model for the shoot. Pat's going to be my model for tonight. So we're going to wait till nighttime so we can start the photo shoot. All right. So now that it's nighttime, we're going to get started. Like I said before, I'm shooting with an A7 III with a 51.8 lens. And my girlfriend, Pat, is going to be the model for this shoot. Okay. All right. Now we're going to get started. All right, guys, we're just going to do a quick setup. This is a basic setup. What you want to do is just get rid of all the light. Then I'm going to use a little light modifier so I don't have to go that high up on my ISO. You don't have to have a light modifier. You can do this technique without it. And what you want to do, you want to direct your model as close to the TV as possible. Any size TV will work. I was using a 50 inch, but you can go as low as like a laptop screen. The most important part is position your model diagonal from the TV screen to get the best angle. Ooh, fire. And what you need your cell phone for is you're going to position it towards your lens so it can cast a reflection on the photo. If you happen to have a pair of glasses around, I highly recommend it because it can cause a reflection in the glasses which give off a good look. Mm -hmm. The key thing is playing around with your camera to find the best angle for your subject in the background. Let's get it, Patty! And just make sure you just go through a couple backgrounds to get different looks. The camera settings I was using was an ISO 250. Like I said, when you start to bump up your ISO too much, you can cause grain in your photos. Then it's hard to get rid of it in post. So I just shot at a 250. I was also shooting at an f-stop 1.8 just so I can have my subject in focus and a blurry background. My shutter speed was 1 50th of a second and keep in mind if you're shooting at this you're going to come out with blurry photos so make sure you just take a lot of multiple photos because some of them will be blurry. I think this came out very good. I think the photos came out good and I'm going to show you the finals right now. We got some bangers with this one. We got bangers. We don't need no more. We giving them too much. <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap up our photo shoot. If you liked it, like the photos, leave a comment below of which photo you like. Hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe for more content coming soon. All right? Peace.